everyone! Today we have a Montessori board, and look at all the stuff we're going to learn about. We have jobs, colors, family, numbers, food, animals, and vehicles. What should we start with? Hmm, let's start with the food. This is an apple. Apples can come in different colors like red, green, and yellow. But this apple is red. Apples are a good source of vitamins and antioxidants, which help keep us healthy. Apples can be eaten raw, cooked, or even made into juice. I'm going to get one of these apples later. Like the saying goes, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Here is an orange. I think it's funny that the name and color are the exact same. Oranges grow on trees. They're round like a ball with a juicy inside. They're often eaten as a snack or made into juice. The orange peel is sometimes used in cooking. Next we have a watermelon. Watermelon is fruit and grows on a vine and are very sweet. What colors do you see in our watermelon? There's green, white, red, and tiny black seeds. Watermelon seeds can be roasted and eaten too. This is a banana. Bananas are a curved fruit that is usually yellow, but can also be green or red. The largest banana producing country is India. Bananas can be eaten raw, baked, fried, or blended into a smoothie. Yummy! Here we have grapes. Grapes are a fruit that grow on a vine. When you have a group of grapes together like this, it's called a bunch. Let's count how many grapes are in our bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Grapes come in many colors like red, black, green, and purple. Next we have a pear. Pears grow on trees and may be yellow, green, or red. Our pear is yellow and has one, two seeds. Pears have been grown for thousands of years and they're often eaten raw. This is a strawberry. Strawberries are red and have seeds on the outside. Strawberries ripen in the spring. They're often eaten raw, but can also be used in baking, cooking, or even making jam. Strawberries are a type of fruit and are a good source of vitamin C. Here we have a carrot. Carrots are a root vegetable and grow underground. They come in lots of colors like orange, yellow, purple, red, white, and are a good source of vitamin A. Carrots are a popular snack for people and rabbits. I grow carrots in my garden for the wild rabbits. Next, we have a kiwi. Kiwis are a fruit that grow on a vine and sometimes are called gooseberries. Kiwis have a fuzzy brown outside, a sweet green inside, with tiny black seeds. Kiwis are actually a berry even though they are the size of a lime. Kiwis can be both sweet and tart at the same time. Last, we have corn. Most corn is yellow or white, but corn can also be red, blue, even purple. Corn is a major food source for people and animals. The part of the corn we eat is actually the seed. Corn can be used to make foods such as popcorn, cereal, and tortillas. So we had apple, orange, watermelon, banana, grapes, 
pear, strawberry, carrot, kiwi, and corn. Next, let's do our numbers. Our first number is zero. Zero means that there is nothing to count. And here's our zero. Our zero is red. Next, we have the number one. And inside the one, we have one heart. And here's our one. Our one is orange. Next, we have two, and there's one, two ovals. Here's our two. Our two is yellow. Then we have the number three, and there's one, two, three hexagons. Our three is green. Next we have four, and there's one, two, three, four circles. And here's our four. Our four is blue. Next we have our five. And inside our five we have one, two, three, four, five trapezoids. Do you see our five? Great job! Here's our five. Our five is light blue. Here's six. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six pentagons. Let's find our six. Here it is. Here's our six. And our six is green. Next we have seven. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars. Do you know what color our seven is? That's right, our seven's yellow. Next we have the number eight. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles. And here's our eight. Our eight is pink. Then we have the number nine. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares. And here's our nine. Our nine is purple. Now we have some math symbols. Our first symbol 
is the plus sign. This is used when you're adding numbers together. And here's our plus sign. Our plus sign is red. Next, we have the minus sign. This is used when you're subtracting or taking numbers away. Do you see our minus sign? It kind of looks like a one right now. There it is. And our minus sign is orange. Our last sign is the equal sign. This is what you use after you've done the plus or minus with your numbers. And here's our equals. Our equal sign is blue. So we had zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, the plus sign, the minus sign, and the equal sign. Next, let's go over different family members. Our first family member is a grandfather. Maybe you call your grandfather something else, like grandpa or pop pop. Here's our grandfather. He has glasses, is bald, has a mustache, and a blue shirt. Does your grandfather wear glasses? Mine does. Next, we have a grandmother. You might call your grandmother something like Grandma or Gaga. Here's our grandmother. She has gray hair, a pink shirt, and she's wearing a skirt. This is a mother. You might call your mother Mom or Mommy. Here's our mother. She's wearing a blue dress and holding some yellow flowers. And she has red hair. Next, we have a father. Maybe you call your father Dad or Daddy? Here's our father. He's wearing a suit with a blue tie and glasses, and he has short black hair. Here's a brother. Maybe you have a younger brother or an older brother. Here's our brother. He has brown hair, a green shirt, and he's wearing shorts. He looks like he's going to go play outside. Last, we have a sister. Do you have a sister? Here's our sister. She has straight hair and is wearing a long pink dress. So we had grandfather, grandmother, Mother, father, brother, and sister. Let's learn about our animals next. Our first animal is an elephant. Elephants are the largest land animal on earth. They use their trunk for drinking water, picking up food, even giving hugs. Elephants are herbivores, which means they only eat plants and they can eat up to 300 pounds a day. Here we have a horse. Horses come in many different sizes and colors and they can run really fast, up to 55 miles an hour. 
They use their tails to swat flies and other insects. And they can communicate through body language and sounds. Our next animal is an owl. Owls see way better than humans, up to eight times better. They're nocturnal, which means they're active at night and sleep during the day. They're also carnivores, which means they eat meat. Owls can live all over the world in hot and cold temperatures. Here we have a giraffe. Giraffes are the tallest land animal in the world, and they have hooves the size of dinner plates. Their spots are unique, which means no two giraffes have the same spots. And they're herbivores, which means they like to eat plants. Their tongue can be up to 18 inches long. Next, we have a lion, the king of the jungle. Lions are the only cats that have manes. And they're carnivores, which means they like to eat meat. When a lion roars, it can be heard five miles away. And the only cat that's bigger than a lion is a tiger. Our next animal is a chicken. Chickens are omnivores, which means they like to eat both meat and vegetables. A female chicken is called a hen, and a male chicken is called a rooster. And a group of chickens that live together is called a flock. Next, we have a panda. I love pandas, they're so cute. Pandas are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. And they almost always eat bamboo. In fact, they'll eat up to 50 pounds a day. Pandas are also very curious. Next, we have a duck. Ducks have waterproof feathers, which keep them warm and dry when swimming. Female ducks are called hens, and the males are called drakes. They also have webbed feet, which help them swim. This is a frog. Frogs lay eggs in water, and the baby frogs that come from the eggs are called tadpoles. Frogs have special bones that store energy and help them to jump long distances without getting tired. Frogs eat insects, and our frog's gonna hop back to the pond. Next, we have a monkey. Monkeys are omnivores, so they eat meat and plants. Monkeys live in groups, and those groups are called troops. They have thumbs, like us, to help them hold on to things, and baby monkeys cling to their mama's fur to ride on their back when they're little. Our last animal is a rabbit. Baby rabbits are called kits, and rabbits are herbivores, so they eat plants. Rabbits live in groups called warrens, and some rabbits actually live in burrows underground. Let's all say bye-bye to the rabbit so he can hop back to his burrow. Let's go over our animals. We had elephant, horse, owl, giraffe, lion, chicken, panda, duck, frog, monkey, and rabbit. Next, we're going to learn about vehicles. Our first vehicle is a fire truck. Firefighters ride in fire trucks when they're responding to an emergency. Fire trucks are brightly colored and they have sirens and flashing lights so they're easy to spot when they need to get by in traffic. Fire trucks also have equipment on them like hoses, ladders, and axes that firefighters use when they're responding to an emergency. Our next vehicle is an excavator. An excavator is a type of construction vehicle that is usually used for digging on land, but some can be used in the water as well. Instead of wheels, excavators have a track. This helps them to be stable when they're moving lots of heavy material. They also have a cab on the top and a long arm with a bucket. 
The arm and bucket dig up the material and the cab can actually turn all the way around to drop the material someplace else. Next we have a police car. Police officers ride in police cars when they're working or responding to an emergency. Police cars usually have words like police or sheriff so they're easy to recognize and they have flashing lights and sirens so other cars can find them easily. They also have storage areas for equipment like first aid kits, flashlights, and traffic cones. Here we have a cement truck. Cement trucks are used to mix up cement. This large part is called a drum and it turns so that it keeps the cement mixing. It can also be used to mix other materials like asphalt. Our next vehicle is an ambulance. Ambulances are brightly colored and they have flashing lights and sirens so they're easy to see in traffic and people know to move out of the way so they can get where they're going quickly. Ambulances are used to transport sick or injured people and have medical equipment and supplies on board to help care for people on the way to the hospital. Here we have a steamship. Steamships produce steam to power the boat's engines and propellers. They are used to be used for transporting goods, people, and exploring because they were faster than sailboats. They aren't used much today, but they are an important part of our history. Bye-bye, steamship! Our last vehicle is a train. Trains run on tracks, and they've been around for over 200 years. They used to be a really popular way to travel before cars and planes. We still use a lot of trains today to transport goods or even people like subways and monorails. So we had a fire truck, an excavator, a police car, a cement truck, an ambulance, a steamship, and a train. Now let's go over some careers or jobs. Our first career is a soldier. When people join to become soldiers, they go through training camps that help teach them skills that they need. They wear special clothes called uniforms, and soldiers help protect your country to keep you safe. They also may get sent to other countries to help them or to help in natural disasters. Let's all say goodbye to the soldier. Next, we have an astronaut. Astronauts go into space to explore the stars and planets, and they travel in rocket ships. They wear special suits that help protect them and provide them oxygen. Everything they do on Earth, they'll do in space. Eat, drink, exercise, everything. Let's all wave goodbye to the astronaut. This is a doctor. Sometimes it's scary to go to the doctor, but doctors just want to help when you're sick or hurt to make you feel better. They use tools like stethoscopes to listen to our heart and lungs and make sure that everything's healthy. Bye doctor, thank you. Next we have a teacher. Teachers help us to learn new things and grow our minds. They might use books, toys, or other materials to help us learn and have fun. Sometimes they give assignments and tests so that we can practice what we learn. We'll see you in class! This is a police officer. Police officers wear a special uniform which help them to be recognized. They respond to emergencies to help people, and police officers are our friends and help keep us safe. Let's all say thank you. Next, we have a firefighter. Firefighters work in a fire station where they store their gear and their vehicles. Firefighters wear special clothing to help protect them from fire when they respond to emergencies. They use tools like hoses and ladders to help put out fires or even to rescue people. Let's all say goodbye to the firefighters. Our last career is a chef. Chefs wear a hat and apron to help keep them clean when they're working. 
they use lots of different ingredients to make delicious food that we love to eat, like pizza, pasta, barbecue. Chefs use pots, pans, knives, and other equipment to cook with. Let's all say yum yum to the chef. Let's go over the different careers. We had a soldier, an astronaut, a doctor, a teacher, a police officer, a firefighter, and a chef. Do any of those careers sound like something you would like to do? Last, we're gonna go over our colors. Our first fish is red. Spell red with me. R, E, D, red. Next, we have the color orange. Orange is spelled O, R, A, N, G, E, orange. Here's the color yellow, Y, E, L, L, O, W, yellow. Next, we have the color green, G, R, E, E, N, green. Then we have light blue, L, I, G, H, T, B, L, U, E, light blue. Only two more left. This one is blue, B, L, U, E, that spells blue. And our last color is pink, P-I-N-K, and that spells pink. Let's go over our colors, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, blue, and pink. I had so much fun learning all of this with you today. I hope you did too. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Bye bye.